well, look at this. I've got a box other than the yellow Loomis rolls. Looks like we got the Harrisburg PA box. So, and once again, this bank is famous for giving me ones that are taped up that have been either damaged or dropped. I don't know if that means anything, but we're gonna go ahead and try to pop this guy open even though it's been taped. I should have no problems. It's just that the glue on these sometimes is crazy. But I wanted to get an opening on camera just in case we have something crazy to see. Maybe if I can get it open, it's sliding down my car and I'm trying to do this one-handed. God, you know how it goes. All right, not the prettiest tear job. There we go. Whew. Now let's open it. Boom. You know what? We got a crazy coin. This box looks like it's been through the ringer for a little bit. I got a lot of good looking colored ones, but I don't see anything that's certain silver. This one is really suspicious by its color. All right, I don't see anything that screams silver. Let me flip them around real quick. All right, guys, no obvious enders on this side, but we got a really crazy burned off colored one. Could be, could be silver, never know. Looks like we have to get these guys home so we can get these guys hunted. All right, everyone got this box of half dollars home. Kind of cleaned up the edges, tore it off. You saw me open it in the car. No obvious enders. We're just gonna start with this roll and pray that we can stop the streak of not finding silver in this Harrisburg PA box. All right, guys, I'm super excited right now. We're on roll 24, and look at this. That's a silver edge, and it looks pretty worn. Oh, are you kidding me? It's only a 42, but it's my first Walking Liberty ever pulled from a box. Unbelievable. Philadelphia Mint, pretty common coin, but you know what, man? That's a good sign. We just pulled a Walking Liberty out of this box, guys. Unbelievable. Detail's not that bad. It's not that great either, but you know what, man? My first Walking Liberty pulled in circulation. 1942 Philadelphia. And that goes along with four NIFCs and another 74D double dive verse. Not in great shape. I never find them in great shape, but you know what? This box is not doing too bad. Holy cow, Harrisburg coming through. Let's get after it some more. All right, everyone, roll 46, and I'm a little embarrassed because I was watching Cointelligence's live stream and I wasn't paying attention to the edges, and I'm almost done with this roll, and right at the last two coins, look at this, 67. I don't know how I missed that, but you know what? I don't care. I didn't miss it going through the roll. We now have two silvers, a 42P Walker and a 67 Philadelphia 40 percenter. Unbelievable. All right, guys, we've hunted that half dollar box. And you know what? That's actually not a bad box. Let me go through the fines with you. We've got an 02 NIFC, 303 NIFCs, 307 NIFCs, an 11, two 12s, and a 14. So that's 11 NIFCs in that box. That would have been a good uh, live stream box because, you know, my live streams, every three NIFCs that you bank, you get a 40% silver. I also found, believe it or not, two 74D double dive verses. So that's pretty good. They're not in great shape again, but I'll take them. I found this really nice bicentennial. I don't keep them that often unless they're in this kind of condition. I'm trying to make some full roll sets of them. And then the finds of the box, guys. We got two silver. A 90% 1942P Walking Liberty. My first Walking Liberty pulled in circulation. That makes me super happy. And then I missed the edge. Wasn't paying attention, but you know what? We didn't miss it overall. A 67 40% silver. Feels good to get silver on the board. Feels good to find some NIFCs, some other cool finds. It's been a while since I had a good box. 
Makes me really happy. I've got two more boxes to still hunt. I'm probably gonna keep them for my live stream, but I'm not sure just yet what I'm gonna do. To any extent, felt good finding silver. Hopefully you enjoyed the short video, the one box hunt. I usually do two or three boxes, but at least we got some finds this time. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.